This temple would be nice. I need... Let's get a circus out. Uh, my happiness is starting to get a little dangerously low. Okay. Cool. So I'm glad we were able to get the last bow. And that's... Attrition. Minus 250 faith. That... 250 faith? So is... So maybe as he's walking around, he loses faith until he gets to where he needs to be? Or he's in my... Ah, fuck, I don't know what that was. <laughs> um, little extra happiness. That's not useful right now, but I would be able to get a great person. That could be useful. Um, not bad. Hmm. Well, let's help a little bit. Now we'll be able to get a great person. It does pop us up to one, which isn't a big deal. Great Admiral. Great Admiral has the ability to instantly repair every naval and embarked unit in the same hex as well as in adjacent hexes. That's cool. The Great Admiral is consuming and performing this action. The Great Admiral also provides a 50% combat bonus to all player-owned naval units within two tiles. The Great Admiral is not consumed when he provides this bonus. So he's a great general on the water, hence Great Admiral. Um, the big thing is, though, is you can consume him to heal everything instead of moving him back to cities. That's pretty cool. Um... A great scientist would be a really good thing right now, but four times displacing any previous religions in these cities. A great prophet is expended when used in any of these ways. Great prophet is. Let's try a special holy site improvement, which when work, which is a lot of faith. A great prophet can spread religion four times. That seems like that might be cool, but I'm not really sure all oh, what that's doing. Let's go with our great scientist. Uh, we will hold, probably hold on to him for right now. Mm. Could bulb into something like this. Education and rush the... <laughs> Alright, we'll hold off on that for now. Um, how big are we getting here? You know what, let's... There we go. That should have been one of the first things that they picked up personally. Uh, we won't work it quite yet, just because I need the city to grow still. A little extra XP for everybody. I kind of want to see attrition. Minus 250 faith again. Weird. I wonder... Ah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Hey, don't you? Right. Let's go around and see what we got up here. Cows, lumber mill. You know what? I almost think it's kind of time to get this going. What are we working here? You know what? Actually, stone needs to be worked. Okay, some more gold. We're rocking pretty hard with gold right now. Oh, truffles. Okay, moving right along. Pretty uh pretty quiet game so far. We're the Roman now allies. What is he doing? Silly AI. Once again, I wouldn't mind trying for another... <laughs> I'm not sure... Your faith and gold would be nice. You know what? Let's build a worker first and help get some of these um, trade routes up. 
So that's something that's been a long time coming. And because everything is so far away, um, the faster we can get the trade route up, uh, the better. Okay, this will be a nice little bonus. Be able to start trading a little bit. Um, do we have any extra resources right now? I'm assuming we do. No, not really. Huh. Kind of surprised I don't have extra resources going on. Almost. Nice, another natural wonder. Fantastic. Theater. Uh, has he just been sitting there? Probably. <laughs> you know what? Let's come over here. Actually, go back to here first. And then we will work on what you need to do. Okay, still just two cities, huh? They're not doing very well. Um, I almost think I gotta go for the the oracle, considering that I'm going for a cultural win. Seems like that would be an intelligent thing to do. Hmm. We'll need to find where I want to expand to next. Here might not be a bad idea just for the uh, sake of working some more of these jungles, but most of this will be worked, except for maybe like here. Um, I could always put something over here. Although a lot of the desert tiles, and since I don't have the desert faith, could go somewhere here to kind of try and block off the different sides. Um, pick up some horses, which, eh, spices, which I could trade. Not really sure. I might start doing more strategic, uh, placements of cities. So putting something here to kind of create a line here or put something here to stop them invading over. Okay, ooh, we do want to get one of our units down there um, to take those ruins. Okay, the stone has been built. What's going to be the fastest? One, two, three, four, five. Man. Alright. So, continuing on along. Uh, we did not finish him. I do want to kill him, though. And then we will need to Vominos back to town, definitely now. Okay. Construction roads, please. Uh, how about you? Do we have embarkation yet? I guess I'll find out soon. Yeah, I think we do, right? Nope, we don't. I want to get that so I can go pick up those ruins. Late ruins can be really useful. If we find like a tech or something late in the game, I will not turn it down. <laughs> Once again, don't really think it matters how we do this. But if we do put it out a little bit, it'll be closer to Korea. Deal with that. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh, no. No. <laughs> Anything but that. 
Okay, so uh, Ethiopia spread Christianity to one of my cities. Uh, he'll get bonuses for that. Which I don't really want him having. Hmm. Growth here actually isn't as good as I would think it is. Uh, I will go with the granary. After all. More barb encampment. Surprise, surprise. Okay. Okay, they're still there. Great. <laughs> Okay, the eats has been completed by Korea. Could care less about that. Oh, okay. Uh, mercantile. What are they giving me again? Provides extra happiness. Sure. Allies with them. So we're getting an extra happiness. Uh. Okay, so I guess it just doesn't have anything that it can upgrade, or maybe I can't in one the same turn. I don't know, figure it out in a sec. Uh, for now, let's build a... Wow, look how much happiness we have. Because of the added uh, stuff that he's giving us. Let's see. What is he giving us? Uh, he's giving us iron, jewelry, and wells. Man, no wonder. That's, that's a lot of extra happiness. Hmm... How about we build a temple to get a little bit more faith going? That should be good enough stuff right now. Let's start building roads here. Start building there. He can go down to complete this. Kind of hemorrhaging some gold for every road tile per turn. We're losing a gold, but that's okay. We have a good uh, amount of gold right now already. To where it's not such a big deal. Especially since we're getting so much gold from here. <laughs> awesome. Bring him back. Okay. Uh, we'll leave him in here for now. I don't. I don't need to upgrade him yet. Do 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 do. We're gonna have a triple stack going on here. Yeah, yeah. Good old triple stack. Nope. Finally, a little uh, little action here. Been a little while. Let's actually get you all on this side. Ah. Uh, Rome's Rome's becoming somewhat of a situation. I might actually She just has nothing. Ah. Really irritating. How does he feel about that? Oh, salt nice. Oh, okay, we don't have anything he wants. Don't really care about having an embassy with him. I guess we're gonna go trade with Rome. Salve. In keep, eh? Really? All right. How about two twenty-five? Okay, whatever, dude. He's built the wonder we coveted. They covet land. All right. You know what? It looks like Rome's gonna be the issue here. Okay, he's not super friends with me yet. Um, so can I sell borders? Okay. So it's just not worth a whole lot. We'll sell borders then. He 
you. Well, that was that was fun. Good experience. <laughs> I will move him. Let's keep him over here on this side of the river. So if I do need to move over to my left flank, I can. Some swordsmen. Come on. Keep building. Thank you. Did not see that. Damn it. Do, 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 do. Alright, no. I want you to attack. Stupid game. Well, you're not going to destroy it, so, you know, technically you're sitting here. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. And why did our happiness plummet by 10? Really? Ugh. Son of a bitch. <laughs> there. Take my money. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You know what, let's pick up um, let's pick up another composite bowman. I want to build up my army a little bit because we have friends at our doorsteps that aren't really good friends. Trade routes will be completed really soon. Which will be nice. Which will actually be fantastic. There we go. Oh, okay, fine. Go. Start getting some more money going. So we have plus six a turn. It just went up plus two from last turn, which is always nice. Um, whoever can garner the most faith in a period of 30 turns will get influence with Vatican City. Cool. So a nice little uh, global quest for everybody to do. Oh. There's something for our... military to do. Now that we have roads almost fully connected, we'll be able to move around our land pretty easy. Whoa! Okay! Some information that may be awesome, by the way. Lots of stuff. So, spies can be used either offensively or defensively to give your spy instructions. Open the espionage screen, which can be found under the additional information button on the upper right part of the screen. Okay, the espionage screen. Some information yeah, 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 yeah. You, sh use. you shut your mouth. <laughs> I will give us. <laughs> um, gives you a, a full overview of your intelligence network. You can use it to check on the current status of your spies, but this is also the command center from where you give orders to spies, be it to move to a different city, establish surveillance, or steal a tech. Okay, so. This is our spy. If your spy is in one of your cities, they will try to capture and kill enemy spies that are trying to steal your technology. If your spy is in another civilization city, they will try to steal technology from that civilization. The spy will also report any intrigue it discovers, such as a civilization planning sneak attacks against you or other civilizations. So, uh, Rome, you're going to get a spy because you're an ass. Alright, uh, if your spy is in a city-state, they will try to rig the... L the uh, wait, wait. Uh, they'll try to rig the local elections to increase your influence there. <laughs> nice. Okay, so he's a recruit. Um, the three spy ranks are recruit, agent, and special agent. Each subsequent level makes the spy more effective. A higher ranking spy will steal technologies faster, discover and kill enemy spies that are trying to steal from you more frequently, rig elections in city-states more effectively, and have a greater chance of pulling off a coup in a city-state allied with another civilization. So a lot of Civ 4 stuff going on here. Uh, spies level up when they successfully steal tech from another civilization or kill an enemy spy attempting to steal ours. So here's our different cities right here.